Oh. Hey guys, it's Kenzie, and we're here with TV8 Summit outside TV with Christina from the town of Silverthorne. Christina, how are you doing today? I'm well, Kenzie. How are you? I am fantastic. Summer's starting to wind down, and I'm getting really excited for fall, but it is not over yet. And the town of Silverthorne always has some really awesome events. Can you tell us a little bit about the up the most upcoming event that the town of Silverthorne is putting on? Yes, we're going to have a wonderful end of summer celebration at September's first Friday. So that's on this Friday, September 3rd from 6 to 9 p.m. in Rainbow Park. Um, we're really, really excited to have a free concert with the Motet. So this will be one not to miss. Um, it will definitely be a fun end of celebration, end of summer celebration with friends, family, neighbors, um, all of that. So um, yeah, come down, enjoy live music. We'll have free kids activities like crafts um, from Frost Flamingo. Blue River Horse Center will be there with their miniature ponies again. And um, there'll be some great food options from our local um, restaurants like La Perla, um, Colorado Marketplace and Bakery and Grays and Tories, which um, will be opening in Silverthorne soon. Wow, that is a lot of vendors joining you guys. And did I hear you right? You're gonna have horses at this event? <laughs> yes, Blue River Horse Center will be there um, with their miniature horse rides. Um, that's been very popular this summer with the kiddos and just from what everybody else to check them out as well. So they accept donations to the Blue River Horse Center. It's a really fun addition to um, our community events. Oh, cool. It sounds like that's really such a friendly family activity. And do you guys have other awesome events coming up other than this first Friday? Yes, yeah, so um, we're gearing up for October first Friday as well. That's one of our most popular uh, first Fridays of the year. Um, we've moved our locals appreciation party we normally have in the spring to October. So that will be Friday, October first, in the lawn outside the Silverthorne Performing Arts Center, and that's put on in partnership with local liquors. And we'll have um, a ton of uh, free beer, wine, liquor tasting. Um, it's a free event, but donations are encouraged. And in 2019, we raised more than $14,000 for local nonprofits. So it's a really great opportunity for the community to come together and give back to our um, amazing nonprofits that serve us so wonderfully here in the community. Wow, that sounds so incredible. I didn't realize that that event also benefits the nonprofits in the area. And that is just so important, especially as a local. You know, I love that you guys are really getting out there and supporting everyone in the community. And I love that you guys are putting on something that's kind of focused towards the locals. We always have so many different things going on. And I love playing tourist in my own town. <laughs> Sometimes it is nice to get out there and, you know, just get to know our local community here. So if people want to find out more about these events, where should they go, Christina? Um, head to silverthorne.org and check out our event calendar for more information on September's first Friday featuring the Motet or learn more about the Locals Appreciation Party coming up in October. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us, Christina. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks, Kenzie. You too.